Joseph here, and in this video I'm going to do the experiment on periodic motion using a spring and mass system. And so, as we know, ideally it should have um, simple harmonic motion, which is periodic motion, uh, but, the, but this is not an ideal spring, so it's not exactly simple harmonic, but it's still uh, going to give us some periodic motion. So I'm going to do most of the measurement uh, using this smart cart. We're using the four sensor on the smart cart. So I have a hook here and I have the spring hanging from that hook. So the hook is going to measure the tension and how it changes over time. And I have my smart cart is clamped to the stand, no worry, not taped. But the ruler is taped to the smart cart, uh, so the ruler might fall off, hopefully not. And then, uh, hanging from the hook on the smart cart, uh, I'm going to start off using this spring, uh, the really large one that looks a little bit older. Um, and so you've already measured that spring constant uh, in a previous experiment. And then I'm also going to use a mass. So I'm going to start off with 350 grams because that was, that's what works best for this part. I'm going to hang this here. And there we go. I'm going to use my ruler. So for the first part, we're going to be changing the initial displacement and seeing how that affects period. All right, so uh, using my ruler here, it looks like I have maybe 30.5 or 31. We'll say 31 centimeters is the initial position, which means if I want to give it an initial displacement of one centimeter, I'm going to bring it up to 32 centimeters. All right, so let me press start. Make sure it's ready. Okay. 32. Okay, well, there's one centimeter dis initial displacement. Let's see it bounce. All right, looking good. You can see it. Nice bouncing there. All right, so we'll stop there. All right, so um, from there, I'm going to have I'm going to increase the initial displacement to two centimeters. Okay. All right, let's press start. So round two, let's do two centimeters. Bouncing going on. All right, so um, the goal here, we're trying to find periods, so the length of just one of the bounces. Um, but I'm going to give you uh, multiple periods here, at least 10, and that way you can calculate an average period so we can minimize the experimental error. All right, so that was two centimeters. Here we go, let's do three. Nicely. Um, on this scale, it looks like a larger amplitude, but I, but it looks like Sparkview is changing the scale every time. Uh, so we'll have to compare at the end. Okay, and we'll do one more run with four centimeters displacement. All right. So we'll stop there. Let's show all four of them together. Oh, definitely is larger displacement. Um, from here, it looks like a jumble. Maybe the period's changing, maybe it's not. So that's up to you to do that analysis. All right, so I'm going to uh, save that part. I'm going to open up part two. And what's part two of our experiment? Part two of our experiment, we're going to be looking at different masses. All right, so I'm going to still continue to use this larger spring, this gigantic, uh, older-looking spring, uh, but we're going to change the masses uh, actually, with just the mass hook here. So the mass hook itself is just 50 grams. Uh, each of these little discs that I can add are 100 grams. So I'm going to add 100 grams at a time and see how that changes the period. All right, so there we go. Um, now, also for the initial displacement, I'm just going to give it a tap. So we'll see. Okay, I got a. Um, I opened a new file, so I'm going to check my smart card again. It's going to tell me do you want to update, and I'm going to say later. Later. There we go. All right. So let's start. Similar idea before, and I'm just giving it a little displacement. It's more like wiggling side to side. I think that's okay. Uh, it still looks like we're losing the position. Right. So yeah, because it's so light, it's just going kind of crazy. Once we add more masses, it'll be more stable. All right, so that was run one with 50 grams. This is going to be run two. Uh, we're at 150 grams. Here we 
go. You can see it, this is a larger force, uh, mostly because we have a larger weight on it. Run three, add another 100 on it, so we have 250, and go. And we're bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Right. Stop there. Add another 100, so now we're at 350. This is run four. We're at 350. Seems to be bouncing slower, maybe, but let's see. We'll quantify that. Make sure we get at least our 10 jumps, 10 bounces. All right. And then run five. Oof. Okay, so that's 450 grams. Not on it. Run five. Can we start? Here we go. So here we've done uh, these five different masses. Um, that first 50 gram was a little bit iffy, but at least you have the 150, 250, 350, 450. And so look at the periods and, and uh, analyze what happens and hopefully we'll get to that conclusion. Definitely tell they seem to be spreading out more as they get the masses. But I'll leave that analysis to you. So let's save the data. Save. All right, close that. And then we're going to move on to part three. So to be honest, this is the one I've had the most difficulty with in um, practicing. So I'm going to take out my masses. So I'm going to keep my mass constant. I have 150 grams here hanging from the spring. That's going to be constant, but what I'm going to change is the spring. So I have four different springs. Uh, they're the same springs as we did in the previous experiment where you calculate the spring constant. Um, so I have the four different springs and I'm going to, for each one of them, I'm going to measure the period. So again, I'm just going to uh, just give it slight initial displacement, half centimeter, whatever, um, and 150 grams. They're all going to use 150 grams. All right, so uh, this is going to be run one. Uh, just again, this is that same gigantic, older-looking spring. Uh, we already have this data, uh, but I'm just going to uh, do it for you again so that you have it in, in this Spark View um, uh, file. All right, there we go. And there we go, some nice bouncing. Clearly, periodic motion. And so again, 150 grams we got here. Stop there. All right. So the next one I'm going to do, that was the oldest, oldest gigantic looking one. Next one I'm going to do is this kind of um, really skinny, really stiff one. It doesn't like to bounce. Um, you can already tell by playing around with it. Uh, we're going to hang our 150 on there. You see it doesn't really stretch either. Um, but what I've seen is that 150 grams is still enough to get at least enough wiggle that even though you can't really see it by eye, uh, we can still measure it. Okay, so for run two, we're going to use this really skinny stiff one. Let's start. I'm going to try to get it to move up and down. You can kind of see it wiggling up and down. And it is very, very small period. I think it's moving very quickly. Um, but that means you get plenty of... <laughs> of time, plenty of periods to average over. Okay, so we'll still stop there. All right, so that's it for the really skinny one. All right, and then I have, whoa, and we have those two springs that look pretty similar. They're the same uh, diameter, uh, but one's definitely longer and also more stretchy, All right? So I'm gonna start with the shorter one, actually, the sh shorter one that's less bouncy. Okay, so that's gonna be round three. I'm gonna put the shorter one on here. Uh, put 150 grams on it again. Whoa, and it's definitely stretching a lot. All right, so we go ready for run three, which is the shortest spring. And let's give it a nudge. You 
can see it bounce up and down. You can tell by eye that it's much slower. And so it's interesting to see that it's much more stretchy and it's much slower. And I want to make sure we get at least 10 periods in there. It's much, much slower. <laughs> but that's cool. All right, so we'll stop there. Let's take that off. Try to be careful. All right, so now we're going to use the other one that looks similar to that one, except it's longer and more bouncy. And so it'll be interesting to see how far it stretches. So there we go. Again, I'm going to put my 150 grams on there. And it's the table. All right. So, yes, I already knew that was going to happen, but still uh, annoying. All right, so I'm going to rotate my stand a little bit. Now I get some extra length off the table. Okay, let's see. It's just barely tapping the floor. Um, Trying to decide whether I need to put it on a box or not to get some extra height. I think it'll be okay. All right, it's like this much off the floor. All right, so as long as my initial displacement is less than that much, we should be okay. If it hits the floor, then it's going to be game over. All right, so here we are. Most stretchy spring, crazy stretchy spring, really long. Um, again, 150 grams on it. And let's see what happens. Press start. And Oh no! I tried to give it a really small one. Okay, so stretching too much. We're going to have to give it a little bit more height. This is really bouncy. But I'm prepared for that. I have a nice box. Um, just in case you take modern physics, you can look forward to the Millikan experiment. But it is also very useful right now when. I want to get a little bit extra height. All right, so here we go. Spring fell on the ground. Spring back. Put the 150 grams on it. And I'm hoping this extra, like six inches or so, uh, will give us enough space. All right, so run four. I'm going to delete that last run because it hit the ground. Delete last run. Okay. So here we go. This is going to be run four with the super duper stretchy spring. Ooh, this is... There we go. <laughs> a little bit safer with the super duper stretchy spring. Let me try to get it stable. Okay. Start and a little bounce. Oh my gosh, this is going so slow. I feel like I can finish my coffee while I'm this. Gotta make sure we have enough front so you guys can average it. But super slow and super long. All right, so we'll stop there. Um, so there's your data. Gotta press save. Save. Make sure it stays. Um, so they all have. Very different amplitudes and force, which is interesting. Uh, but we can also take a look at, uh, you guys will have to look at the period. Definitely that last one had, was the slowest, but I'll let you guys take a, a deeper look and graph it, do the analysis, come to conclusions, and hopefully that will all bring you more to learning uh, more about springs and about periodic motion as you explore all this. All right, so that's it for today's experiment. I'll see you at the next video.